everybody and welcome back! Right, I want to go to... There. I think. I'm using my memory now. <clears throat> these are these uh, Simon 2 role players I was expecting to see. Now, previously I mentioned, oh, I'm sure there are characters that we've uh, not met. Uh, and I can't remember which, uh, like from previous games, and I've forgotten what they were, so that's good. It's locked. Brilliant! I fucked up! <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure this is where I need to use this. I'm not hungry. Good. Brilliant! Right. I'll deal with that. Well, you deal that. with. Wow, well, that's interesting. How? Was Tim fucking around with it? It doesn't matter. Give me, give me the one out of the Everdrive. Thank you. Now you work out what I'm actually supposed to be doing because I'm clearly wrong. On it. Oh, <laughs> sad sofa. Oh, poor sad sofa. But hello, friends. Oh, lady lad. Uh, <sighs> okay. Inbred yokel area. The inbred yokel area. Okay. Uh, take the left path to reach a butterfly meadow. Oh, so we're doing that before we do this. Okay. Yeah. So we just need to get the sound truck <laughs> first for reasons. I'm pretty sure that this puzzle, that particular pizza puzzle with the drunk sign, ends up there, though. So we'll see if I'm right in the, you know, as long as it takes. Yokel. So it is the butterfly field. Yeah. This is how we end up with the basketball net. And on with it. It is that field right there, isn't it? Uh, it's this one. Keep going. Yeah. It's on your left. Yep. Yes! Oh, there we go. Not like that. Or that. Gotcha! Smashed it. Nice. Hey! There we go. My neck. Now what? How stupid. You can't catch a sprite like that. Ah, here we go. You need something that won't burn. Who the hell are you? I'm out here with a few friends in that shack over there. Yeah, but you're... We ran out of couples, so I had to come and catch one of these. See ya later. I think I should pay him and his friends a little visit. Right, I think I can see the end game here. Is it walkable? I don't even know which way to walk, to be honest. Yeah, I do. Do I? Do I? I think it's on the other side of these stones. But you definitely can't hold me to that. Should've just hopped in a phone boot. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. But at least I'm trying to remember something. Help! Fuck you. I think I'm taking myself over to the wall control hut here. Oh, there's the sign, so at least there's a phone box here. But again, I think I'm right by it, so I'm just gonna bypass it. And that was a mistake. So I'm gonna go back. We'll see on the map if I was right or wrong now. Flashy lad. Yeah, I'm miles away. 
What an idiot. So let me do that for you, fool. Dunno. Ooh. Okay, this is today's setup. Hop, the 10th level soldier. Hoo ya! Is leading a team of rebels in a raid against the fascist. Dickheads! Raid. What's going on here? Who are you? I saw him in the forest. He was trying to catch a sprite with a net. Ha ha ha, very funny. What are you spots doing anyway? Spots? Oh, advanced apartments and accountants. It's an RPG set in the world of ink and tax and cola. Mm. I remember you guys from the last game. I turned your friend into a dog. Oh, putting that out there. You must be thinking of another faction. There's lots of them all over the world. Well, all geeky kids look the same. Oh, look, their calendar's got that no, chick on. Uh, what is it exactly that you want? <clears throat> Can I have your sprite? We need it to play the game. Well, I need it to save the world, so hand it over. Why don't you go and catch your own? Because I'm a bully, all right? <clears throat> and I hate hard work. So make with a sprite before I turn you all into a... Actually, I can't think of anything worse than what you already are. You can't have it until the game is over. And when's that exactly? When all the players are dead. Any chance I can play? I'm quite good at this game. We already have four players. That's all we've got room for on this campaign. Well, uh, what if one of you were to have, shall we say, some sort of tragic and unforeseen accident? Then you could play, no problem. Right. Actually, you could do us a favour in the meantime. Yeah? Order us one of those pizzas they sell down in the town, with everything on it. Except anchovies. I'm allergic to anchovies. Literally just thinking about anchovies. Okay. Which one of you threw some anchovies? So extra anchovies then. Threw some anchovies into a Caesar salad the other day. Play. Looking great. Yeah, you sort it out and bring it to us. And remember, <clears throat> no anchovies. That's Get very over it, important. just fucking eat them. He's allergic though. Right. Couldn't give a now, shit. Where were we? Kill them, kill them all. Can't do that in <clears> here. Scott, a fifth level student. Oh, I've accidentally you engaged the dickheads again. Not yet. <clears throat> Come back when you've got it. Do I look like a pizza delivery boy? You look like someone that they should no stop anchovies. speaking so I can oh, progress. Oh, right. right, now where were we? <sighs> no one drinks beer like the Paris. Who do they drink beer like then? Technical support provided by Rupert as a 10th level hacker. Jam that. Hello, pizza lord. Uh, hi. I'd like, uh, like to order a pizza, please. Sure thing. What would you like on it? <clears throat> I'm going to say the works, because if it's just anchovy, it's going to be pretty obvious. The works? Okay. Anything else? Extra cheese to disguise the anchovies. Put extra cheese on that as well. Sure. Lords of cheese and pizza. Whereabouts are you for the delivery? You should uh, know. The lonely hut in the forest? Okay. It'll be there in one minute or your pizza's free. Okie dokie. And so concludes the puzzle I was waiting for from the start of the game when we first saw that sign. Go, go! That's 20 seconds up. Rapid cooking on that though. Yeah. That's 30. <sighs> Quick! Which way to the lonely hot? Um, hang on. Um, let me think about it. Quick. There I we don't go. have much of time. Don't give me attitude, man, or me and you are gonna have words. Which way is the hot of you stupid sign? Right. That's it. Outside. 
We are outside. Well, inside then. Oh, forget it. Yeah, and uh, don't come back, you big uh, idiot. And that's a minute. I guess there is such a thing as a free lunch. Here's your pizza. I got you clocked at one minute ten seconds, mate. What? Uh-uh-uh. Over a minute and the pizza's free. See you later. But No buts. Bye-bye. Oh, <coughs> mamma me to see the mamma. Remind me to write and complain about his manners. <laughs> Grubs up, guys. Tuck in. Nailed it. I really want a pizza on. now. <laughs> Something tastes funny. What's with the pepperoni? My dick! No, it's, mm. it's kind of fishy. Mm, I think there's tuna on it somewhere. Uh, excuse me. What are we going to do now? We can't play without an apartment, Buster. Oh well. Guess we'll have to call it a day then. Good. We don't have to play like right in the last right one. Now. Help yourself. We don't need it anymore. I thought you were fucking shitting out your face or something. Mine! Right. So presumably, back to the wizard signing up agency. <sighs> For I now have my spirit animal. Oh no, I've remembered, I think I've remembered at least, the uh, the characters I was referring to from the first game. And also the second game, and if not, there are certainly some characters we've met before. Wizards Guild? Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking, yeah. I thought I crashed into a wall, but I hadn't because it was loading. I thought that as well. <clears throat> and now load into the city. Brilliant. Okay. Phone box plus. about with that door, that door's fine. Can has got <laughs> sprit. Nope, must talk. Oh, it does it that way anyway. So it is. <laughs> Now all that remains is for you to take the test. I can't help but be disturbed by the amount of uppercase letters people keep putting on that. Oh, this looks good. Yes, the test. The ultimate trial of magic. Many have attempted it. A few have succeeded. Be prepared, young wizard, for what you are about to face will pass the very limits of your magicals. Pass and you will be a wizard. Fail, and you will um, not be, be a wizard. And ridiculed by everybody. Wow, this test is really cheap looking. 
Uh, well, we've been meaning to have it updated. I mean, these stupid lines everywhere don't impress anyone anymore. It's like something out of Tron. <laughs> Do you want to take the test or not? You mean, the test? Will you stop trying to put me off? I'm trying to build up a sense of atmosphere here. Sorry. Right. You need 100% more God loves uglies or simple. God's bathrooms floors for that. The rules are simple. You, what? What's going on? I don't know. That wind must have disturbed the magic somehow. The test is over. Did you fart? No, it wasn't me. I can't believe it. There were supposed to be monsters and spells and all sorts of clever stuff whizzing about. It couldn't be rendered. The simplest solutions are often the best, I always say. Oh, well. I guess you pass then. Yes. You're a wizard. Great. Harry. Do I get a wand? Uh, no. <coughs> a staff? No. A top hat? No. A shit hat? You get... <coughs> Book of wizards! Now, all you the have audio to do is choose what discipline of wizardry you want to go into. Hmm. What's the choices? Well, with your incredibly low magic score, and um, taking into account current vacancies in our department, I would say that fashion magic was your best, if not only, choice. Fabulous. Fashion magic? It's very Jokes. new. Ms. Luck would have it vastly undersubscribed. I'm not surprised. I can't believe that. There's only one spell at the moment, but the R&D boys are going full pelt to work out some new ones. It's all in the spell book I gave you. <coughs> that one I spell a in a whole book. Wizard, and I get given fashion magic. Sometimes I think I'm sure we became a full bona fide wizard in the first game, to be honest. Mm, I think we did. Right, so we're fashion lad, what now? Um, look at your wizard handbook. Wizard book. And presumably the fairy godmother will... Um, wizard up a tree. Yeah. There she is. Hi! Oh, hello. I see you've finally become a wizard. That's excellent progress. Yeah, and it took us like, what, 20 oh, parts, is it? 21 parts. Want me to tell you how to cast spells? It'll take a while. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to need that. Go on, then. The basic principle of spell casting is based around colours. The primary symbols to learn are red, yellow and blue. There are technical names for these, but you don't want to bother learning those. Damn right. By using combinations of symbols, you can cast the spells in your book. But I've only got one, and all it does is change the colour of my clothes. When you want to enter spell casting mode, use the spell book item in your hand. Them. Not me. Over there. When you use the book, Simon will say the words to the spell he knows, and it's up to you to finish it using the coloured symbols. Press left to use the red symbol, up to use the yellow symbol, and right to use the blue symbol. Then press action to cast the spell. You can also press down to cancel the spell. Or just switch off your PC and go out and do something less boring instead. Oh, ignore him. If you want some excitement, you may even try combining symbols together. Well, sure yes, there's primary colours. Racing. Why don't you give it a try? First, hit use object to start the casting. Okay, remembering what that is. Now, press <coughs> one of the three symbols to cast the spell. Palma, Tradike, Gaza. And it's A. There we go. Black rose. Nice. Check out the new threads. Because all colours make black, not brown. Murky mess. I nearly forgot. All magic relies on colours for it. That name again is Murky Mess. You get stuck in a magical place. Try thinking about the colours you can see. <clears throat> 
We'll think about them much harder next time. In the future. When it is a different time period. Yeah.